To become proficient using Revit, it is important that you understand the various functions that can be accomplished by simply using your mouse. Most Revit users prefer to use a three-button mouse. The left button is referred to as the Pick, Click, or Select button. In order to pick or click or select an object or tool, you press the left button on the mouse. And when you need to press and drag, you press down on the left button on the mouse, hold it down, and then move the mouse. When you click the right button on the mouse, referred to as a right click, Revit will typically display a shortcut or pop-up menu that displays various options. The middle button is actually the roller wheel on the mouse. This is a very versatile button. When you roll the wheel up or away from you, you zoom in by increasing the magnification of the view. When you roll the wheel down or towards you, you zoom out, reducing the level of magnification. When you double-click the scroll wheel, it will zoom to fit your window. When you press and hold the roller wheel while you drag the mouse, you can pan around the drawing window, moving left, right, up, or down. When working in a 3D view, when you hold down Shift while simultaneously pressing the middle button or right button on the mouse, Revit goes into orbit mode. You can then reorient the view of the model. Additionally, there are several double-click options. Expand the Application menu and click Options. In the Options dialog, switch to the User Interface Options. Then, next to Double-click Options, click Customize. Revit displays the Customize Double-click Settings dialog. Here, you can control double-click settings for the listed element types which are Family, Sketched Element, Views Schedules on Sheets, Assemblies, Groups, and Component Stairs. Each element type has multiple options for the double-click action. For Family, the available actions are Do Nothing, Edit Family, and Edit Type. When this is set to Do Nothing and you double-click a Family instance, nothing will happen. However, when the action is set to Edit Family and then you double-click a Family instance, the Family opens in the Family Editor. And lastly, when the action is set to Edit Type, double-clicking a Family instance opens the Type Properties dialog for that Family type. For Sketched Elements, the available actions are Do Nothing, Edit Type, and Edit Element. When this is set to Edit Element, Revit enters into Sketch Mode when you double-click a sketched element. The Edit Type option opens the Type Properties dialog. Next, for Views Schedules on Sheets, you can choose between Do Nothing and Activate View. When you choose Activate View, the view or schedule becomes active when you double-click it while it is on a sheet. Then you will be able to edit the view or schedule while still in a sheet view. For assemblies and groups, you can select Do Nothing, Edit Type, or Edit Element. And for component stairs, you can select Do Nothing or Edit Element. These actions behave just as the other ones. Do Nothing simply allows you to double-click the element type without any action taking place. Edit Type opens the Type Properties dialog for the element type, and Edit Element allows you to edit the element type. To see how this works, set Family to Edit Family and Sketched Elements to Edit Type. Then click OK to close the Customize Double-Click Settings dialog and OK again to close the Options dialog. Next, double-click a loadable family, such as a door. When you do, the door family opens in the Family Editor. 
close the family without making any changes. Then double click a sketched element, such as a roof. When you do, the Type Properties dialog for the roof opens. So as you can see, the double click settings allow you to speed up the modeling process by using your mouse.